Now you should follow suit and just get to the bay. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Welcome back everybody to the Empress Kina show. It is approximately like three something in the morning. The love doctor is in back with another topic. So this topic is going to be soulmates versus twin flames. I'm just gonna start with getting into like what I guess the difference is between the two of them. So most people I've heard of soulmates, you know. To my understanding and to my belief, soulmates, you can have more than one of them. When you think about socks, yeah, you might have two socks and that's like the make from the other one, but you can have multiple socks that make. Okay, that was a bad example. Think about playmates. You can have more than one playmate, right? Like you can have multiple of them. They can be lovers, they can be friends, they can be family members, it can even be your mom. Like a soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. If you find yourself in a friendship that lasts, you know, as long as you've pretty much been alive at this point, that's a soulmate. Typically, soulmates are people that you probably experienced past lives with, you naturally have like a vibe with, you naturally connect with. I know that a lot of my friends that are still my friends to this day, I believe are my soulmates. People that you can just vibe with off bat. You can know them for five minutes and then y'all are just like clicking. Y'all like soulmates, you know what I mean? You typically have the same sense of humor, typically have the same thought patterns and processes, the way you view life, is, you know, oftentimes the same. Just similar mindsets all types of things like that soulmates when you meet them they're usually going on the same path as you you guys are somehow aligning your lives at this point in time where you guys meet each other or you grow from one another you learn from one another you just need them as a companion at this point in your life and from this point on and sometimes soulmates can be sad or heartbreaking experiences i believe i dated a soulmate before and although we didn't work out i believe that he was a soulmate and he served his purpose in my life to teach me lessons and to help me to grow as a person the purpose of soulmates are typically to teach you or the purpose of deepening a connection with another human being in order to not only help you grow and advance but it's also to teach you things if you have a, a soulmate that's a romantic partner Typically, they are there to prepare you for your twin flame. So now we're gonna switch gears, talk about twin flames. Twin flames, that's the big dog, are y'all ready for this? For anybody that doesn't know what a twin flame is, a twin flame is kind of like a soulmate. You have like this instantaneous connection with this person, but a twin flame is a little bit deeper than a soulmate. A twin flame is the one. A twin flame is supposed to be the other half of your soul. This is supposed to be the person that was placed on this earth specifically for you. That fairy tale is meant to be love at first sight type shit. You are connected to that person's soul, just like a soulmate. But the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame is that this this person is not like anybody else. This person is uniquely crafted to mirror you. If that makes sense. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so. Signs that you've met your twin flame. Like, first of all, I swear to God. So oftentimes when you do meet your twin flame, it's literally, you can't really even explain it. You can't even really like pinpoint how it feels or why you feel so connected to this person. You just know that you feel connected to that person. You just know that it's something about that person that you're like attracted to. You just, you'll also start to have supernatural experiences with this person. You may be able to hear their thoughts or you may be able to i don't know communicate with them without speaking like telepathically you can also do this with soulmates too you can have these supernatural experiences with soulmates too but with twin flames they are 10 times more intense than anything you will ever experience with a soulmate they literally invade your dreams your mind your consciousness it's like they they take over you find yourself thinking about them all day all night and you can't help it like you like what you try to run from it hmm, good luck good luck to you buddy because it's gonna find you it's a supernatural connection with another human being that is literally inexplicable this powerful attraction that you have to this person like this pool you really can't even explain it gee i swear you just really have to experience it it sounds very like magical and disney and whatnot but it's real i guarantee you a lot of people that will speak on their experience with twin flame refer to it as a journey with this other person it challenges you 
to grow in all types of ways, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. It makes you purge things within yourself that are negative, low vibrational, that need to be cleansed because this bond, this connection is so pure. It's not something that takes long for you to understand like, oh wow, this really is something. Like, you know off bat when you meet that person like, who okay, who the hell are you? Cause you're making me hot inside. It's some other shit. They're called twin flames or twin souls because basically this is the other half to your soul. Meaning whatever this person lacks, typically you possess or vice versa. Your soul mirrors that soul. It's like your opposites. If you're really outgoing, your twin flame may be really introverted. If you're really bad with money, your twin flame may be really good with money. Or if you're really organized, your twin flame may be really unorganized or vice versa. There's a balancing of energies because there's the masculine polarity and then there's the feminine polarity. It is not based upon gender, you know, like gender is fluid as we know in this day and age. There's a masculine energy within the dynamic and then there's the feminine energy within the dynamic. And both parties must possess both energies, but in a balanced fluid way so that's basically what's happening during like this mirroring and you'll like you can read articles on it and they'll describe this as like the runner chaser phase where one twin is like chasing after the other one and the other twin is like running away from the connection or all the other stuff I mean honestly like I think it's less about like the steps in the journey quote unquote or the phases it's more about learning who you are from an individual standpoint, inside and out, simultaneously your partner learning who they are inside and out. When you do come into contact with that person and you start to interact with one another and whatever, maybe you start to date, or maybe y'all just friends and then, I don't know, like y'all start to feel like, okay, maybe we can be more than friends or, I don't know, literally everybody's is different. Like if you find this person, you'll know. However the dynamic is between the two of you, once you guys come into connection with one another, you'll be forced to like see things within yourself that you may not necessarily have seen before or maybe you have seen them and it's not just it's something that you don't like to look at for example maybe you were a person who because of like past experiences with either family members or lovers or relationships or things of that nature you gave up on love and you just like, like i can't trust anybody and you become very closed off when you meet your twin they are going to bring all of that hurt to the surface for you to like face it and see it because it's like when you're around that person they evoke so many emotions inside of you even the deeper ones that you try and tuck away they gonna tap into that some way somehow but you can't help that shit so you you real life start to have experiences that are is literally forcing you to heal yourself it's forcing you to see things within yourself that need to be you know evolved or that need to grow and expand like you'll see the reflection of yourself good and bad so you'll see things within that person that you like wow I, I do things like that like y'all might both be bookworms and y'all reflect that love for intellect upon each other it's not how peachy keen it might be they reflecting bad things if you're a person that likes to avoid conflict they'll reflect that at you you might get into a conflict with this person and this person's avoiding you they don't want to face the conflict and you looking at it like huh like this nigga or this girl like but in, in reality it's really telling you to check yourself because you probably have avoided situations that needed to be confronted in the past or maybe in this situation it seems as though they're avoiding it but in actuality you also avoiding it too really is to help you kind of see things within yourself reflected back at you so you can see how your behaviors come across to the rest of the world and vice versa the purpose of a twin flame relationship is to come into union obviously you know y'all can live happily ever after and whatnot but it's it's deeper than that when you choose to commit to one another and stay true and loyal to one another it's not supposed to be you know, i love you only if you can do this for me or i love you only if you change these habits or i love you only if you can be right next to me at all times of the day it's not about any circumstance it's about you choosing to love this person no matter what like flaws and all you love this person it's not meant for you to control or manipulate somebody or possess them you want them to be free you want them to choose 
a life with or without you and you still love them whether they choose to be with you or not. Love is supposed to be unconditional. We're supposed to give unconditional love from, to ourselves and to one another. That's what Twin Flames are here to teach. They're here to anchor that mentality and that practice of unconditional love to teach to the rest of the world so that we can all understand like it's really all about love. When you can give love unconditionally, you're gonna receive it unconditionally. I personally believe that everybody does have a Twin Flame. Whether everybody ends up with that person or not is gonna be solely based upon those two specific individuals. But I do believe everybody do got that one person that's meant for them. It's up to y'all though to choose to work through all the inner turmoil and build yourself inside and out in order to love somebody unconditionally. But you gotta first love yourself unconditionally. If you don't start stuff, you can't even go, You, I'm saying twin who? You know what I'm saying, soulmate what? There's no relationship that's going to sustain itself or last without you starting from within first. Well, I guess, I'm just gonna wrap it up here. If you have any more questions about it, or if you want me to do more videos on this topic, let me know, comment below. If you want me to do more Twin Flame videos, if you want me to talk about the Twin Flame journey, I mean, whatever it is, any love topics, honestly. That is the love doctor signing out.